Hello, Paul Hamilton here again. Uh, you're gonna love this tutorial, how to create these beautiful um, gradient sunset backgrounds from a photo. Uh, you can see here how I've done it, but I'm gonna take you through step by step and we'll start from scratch. So the first thing we need to do is create a blank document and we're gonna bring in a photo as a bit of a guide. That way we can use our um, color picker to actually kind of get that kind of authentic feel. This is a great little image here. So now we just bring in a basic shape. Uh, rectangles are great. Uh, we'll make it pretty long, don't copy too many yet. And then we're gonna go up to paintbrush and do a gradient fill. So up at paintbrush, gradient fill. And this is where we can go to start and end color. And once we press on those colors, if we go to the end, if we just flick over, you'll see the little um, color picker. We're gonna select that and select one of the dark, let's start with the bottom of the sunset. So kind of that real kind of black, ready kind of color, more kind of a black color than anything else. And I'm just using my um, Apple Pencil just to go over different elements to get that right uh, feel. And then we go to the start color as well, which is at the top, and we select um, a small gradient change that we want it to actually go to. In this case, it'll be a little bit more of a red color, I would imagine. So we're going from that black to red. That's looking pretty good. Now here's a hot tip, copy that rectangle, paste it. So if we paste it here, and then if you go to gradient fill again, and you just flip the color, that will automatically match the bottom two colors. So see how that looks beautiful? So then all we have to do is change the top one to go to that different color for the next one up. So in this case, it's gonna go a little bit more red and a little bit less, yeah, something like kind of that sort of feel. And we're just gonna repeat that process. So we'll copy, we'll paste, gradient fill and flip the color. And what we're gradually doing is changing the small amounts of gradient and then we'll put them together at the end and you'll see this beautiful feeling of um, changing from gradient to gradient to gradient to gradient. So for this one, we're gonna go a little bit more of a kind of a, uh, kind of like a bluey kind of tinge to it. That looks really great. Uh, we're gonna copy and paste again. Um, we we'll go up to image fill and we'll do a little gradient fill again. We'll flip the colors so they match up beautifully and we'll change the top color again with our um, color picker as, as well. This time it'll probably go to a little bit more of a bluey kind of color at the top. And you can see here as I kind of blend them over a little bit, they're starting to look. I don't think I did that top one. Uh, yeah, I probably need to change that top one. But that's the process. So um, you can in include as many as you want with that. You could Now I'm gonna group them all together. So I'm just grouping the shapes. And kind of you can see that going backwards and forwards. Now I haven't done as many gradient color fills as with my final, but you'll see my final one up here that I actually did there. You've got a lot more of the blues at the top. And if you're really clever, you can bring in some other keynote shapes, change the opacity, do a little bit of drawing with the smoke, bring in your favorite characters, which is great. Um, and the other thing you can do, um, one element with gradient fills that looks great is changing the document size. So if I jump out of this document and show you what it looks like in a really kind of like a bookmark, you can see there, uh, the middle one, it looks really great because I can see the whole breadth of the actual gradient feel. Look at that, really, really nice based on that photo that we brought in. I hope that was extremely useful, really great fun. Paul Hamilton here signing off.